still had a mission to help. How one man has worked to get wheelchairs to those who need them. If you have an old or used piece of equipment, it might serve better helping others. That's why a local veteran says he is fixing wheelchairs and donating them to others in need. Stoker Rizoric talked with him today and has more on why he does it. Stoker. Yes, Jen, it began when William Petruniak saw a person struggling to walk and the individual told him that he couldn't afford a wheelchair. And this led him to help not only that person, but many others. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. It's inside of me. No. Yeah. Inside of me. When I give it to them, it's tears coming out. Also, tears come out of me too. <laughs> you know, when I talk, I just get emotional. Petruniak lives in Salix and used to be a member of the Second Marine Division. He was also a sheriff before moving here. He tells me he now does self-contracting work while also repairing and donating wheelchairs to veterans. This is the sixth year of him doing it. He uses skills learned from an auto parts store in our area. So I see a wheelchair, nobody's using it, I'm not gonna do it. You using a wheelchair? No, we want to get rid of it. You mind if I take it? Boom. He also does other work around the wheelchairs. In the past, he says people were in need of ramps for their chairs. Petruniak tells me that he is more than happy to construct those as well. He says that proof of a person's identity will be required before he gives them a chair and that it's nothing personal. He also says that there are no promises and can only give a chair if he has one. Now before I give it to them, you know that I got to have, I got to see the DD-214, a driver's license, make sure that's them, not anybody else, you know, because they earned it, they fought for our country, you know. And he says that the turnaround time depends on the amount of what needs fixed. It could be anything from a poor battery to a serious safety hazard. Reporting live in the studio, Stoker Wise Oric, 6 News.